Hello viewers. Welcome to this new video. Today, we are about to focus on the introduction to DevOps. In this video, we will be discussing the definition of DevOps, evolution of this methodology, different phases of it, and more. Without any further ado, let's jump into the main topic. DevOps encompasses both the developer and operation team to work together. It is a typical scenario in most companies that the developer and operation teams are entirely fictional strangers. They work on the same project with no sync together. And when a project fails to fulfill the client's requirements, both teams are unwilling to recognize who is to blame. Such an ironic situation can instantly result in personal collisions and unpleasant problems. Here comes DevOps' vital role playing. DevOps stands for Development and Operations. It helps to resolve those conflicts and achieve a more productive way to deliver quality services. And so reach ultimate success. But how and when did this method come to an existence? Let's figure that out. Evolution of DevOps. Indeed, the concept didn't come in one day. The journey was simple but revolutionary. If DevOps had a birth testament, Patrick Dubois would be written in the spot of father's name. This Belgian consultant, project manager and agile practitioner Patrick was interested in learning it from every perspective. He was looking for something to come up with an alteration to overcome the agile drawbacks. And later Andrew Clay joined him as he has the solution that Patrick wanted. So, Patrick put out a call to have a gathering of developers and system administrators to get together. The main agenda was discussing the best ways to start bridging the gap between the two disparate fields. To advertise this event, he tweeted a shortened hashtag of DevOps with the initials of development and operations. It was in the year 2009 when the term DevOps came into existence. But it was not the exact beginning. The main wind of change was started long ago when the necessity of moving beyond pure agility was started to notice by many tech minds. DevOps engineering that cover up agile limitations. Both DevOps and agile methodology holds the same purpose. But why do companies incorporate the DevOps culture? The answer is very simple. DevOps is primarily an enhanced culture that allows enterprises to cover up the limitations of Agile. One of the key benefits is that an enterprise can put large teams together with the help of DevOps. Where Agile focuses on teamwork between small groups, however, both methodologies have a spilt picture. Moreover, DevOps focus entirely on constant testing and project execution during the entire development time. On the flip side of the coin, Agile methodology only focuses on continuous changes. Feedback comes from the end of the customer in the Agile method. But in DevOps, each input comes from the entire team. But only these mentioned differences won't indicate that DevOps is the best practice for any organization. In some cases, Agile also brings success. However, there is one more possible way. You can use both methodologies together to deliver an impressive outcome. Yes, you hear it right. Companies like Nordstrom, Boxboat etc. are using both the methodology together. The phases of DevOps engineering. Now we are about to discuss about the most interesting part of this video, DevOps pipeline. Eight different phases structure the pipeline. It is useful to break the pipeline into phases to make the task easier. Planning where developers start to write code. Coding starts with code development and review using source code management tools, code merging. Building stage developers build status with continuous integration tools. Testing provides quick and timely feedback on business risks. Releasing is the point where the team change management, release approvals, and automation. Deploy refers to the time when the team ready to release into production. Operation phase related to ensure everything goes perfectly with zero complication as the new release in live. Monitoring the application performance with the end user experience. Can I adopt DevOps mindset? In one sentence, any organization can practice this mindset to get the quickest outcome. There is no magic recipe that one should follow to adopt DevOps but it is recommended to execute it appropriately to avoid failures. You may ask, why is this methodology important? Finding people who don't know the advantages of DevOps is hard. However, if you are still confused about its importance, just check out the links given in the description box. You'll get to know every beneficial aspect of DevOps over there. Let us remind you a fact. 
Even after implementing DevOps, there are many companies that couldn't reach their ultimate goal. Well, there are obviously many reasons behind the failure. Many renowned companies have devastating failure stories. So, don't be surprised if your business has got the same result. The destination won't be pleasant for you if your team has a microscopic knowledge of DevOps. Even though adopting DevOps in any corporation may seem very hard, yet you can find many world-class companies which are very successful in adopting this method. So, no need to worry about negative aspects. Rather, focus on its advantages and learn the ways of successful DevOps adoption and improve your business through the proper DevOps implementation. Thank you for joining with us. We will back in the next video. So, stay tuned with us by subscribing the channel. Like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family.